All right, so I'd like to talk about integration of systems and how the cloud is changing the way we think about integration. But to do that, we've got to take a step back and look at how things have been done and in fact are still currently being done. And I'm going to use a concrete example that I hope you can appreciate. Even if you haven't been involved personally with this kind of system integration, you've seen it because we've all shopped in supermarkets. And supermarkets typically will have a point of sale system. Point of sale system has a, a cash drawer and a terminal. And uh, you've seen probably cameras mounted on the ceiling strategically so they can see the cash registers and the cashiers and the people coming through the checkout lanes. And it's natural to think, whoa, maybe we could integrate those systems. Maybe we could tie them together. So for example, when the cash drawer opens, I'll save a video clip and I'll save that along with the receipts, the cash transaction receipts. And then if there's something later on that we need to investigate, we can pull all of this data together and we can look at what happened, see who was there, examine the cash receipts, see if maybe something was done that shouldn't have been done, and then we can deal with that. And so you, you can imagine the integration required here. On a uh, pure uh, hardware point of view, you've got to tie one system to an another system, and that will occur with a, some kind of cable, which carries some kind of signal, where vendors have agreed on a protocol so that the data can be exchanged with those signals. And it all sounds pretty easy. But for those of you, like myself, who've actually been involved in doing it, it's not easy. It's a headache. And there are lots of reasons for that. You, one thing that can happen is that, despite all the best efforts, when you actually go to commission the system, it doesn't work correctly. And of course, the shop owner is not happy about that and is looking for a solution, and the vendors are doing this. They're pointing fingers. No, it was his fault. No, it was his fault. And it takes a long time to resolve these kinds of things, even though it should be simple. And then later on, when the point of sale system perhaps changes its operating system, upgrades it to the next version of whatever, it happens all over again. The finger pointing goes on and on. Not pleasant at all. And this is just a technical integration. But anybody who's tried to deploy a system like this knows that there's a human side to it also. If you're going to use that data, and you're going to use that to discipline an employee, then you're going to have to have human resources on side. You're going to have to have the union on side. There's a lot of paperwork that has to be done. So there's that whole dimension of it, HR policies and procedures. All right, let's look at how this common integration would change once we introduce the cloud. I'll do that in the next segment.